The first new feature is the order of hands being raised in a Teams meeting. I'm an organizer and I'm gonna open up my participant pane. I have my attendees here, but I wanna be able to see what order are people raising their hands. Well, now you can do this, let's see. Now it looks like two different people have raised their hands. I see the little two here on the participant notification, but in the pane here, I can actually see a one next to Alex's hand and a two next to Henry's hand. So this lets me easily tell the order of people raising their hands. It also shows across the top here, but without the number. And also just an older feature, but it's kind of nice. If someone forgets to lower their hand, I can easily go into here and hit the three dot menu and choose lower hand. That puts down Alex's hand. And now you can see that Henry is in the pull position with a one next to his hand. The second new feature is the ability to hide your video in a Teams meeting. So I'm here presenting, I'm showing my solar system slides and down there that video of myself is bugging me. So now if you hit the three dot menu right here, there's a hide for me. So now I'll hit this and it minimizes right down and you can see a little sliver of me here. If I click that arrow, I pop back up. This also works if you're in horizontal mode. So I'll show participants here and now I'm across the top horizontally. If I hit the three dot menu right here, I say hide for me. I swipe off to the right, I click the arrow and I'm back. The third new feature is a long time request and one of my favorites to quickly unmute yourself with a keyboard shortcut now you can see I'm muted. I'm just gonna do control spacebar, and now I'm unmuted briefly. And there's a little tool tip right in the middle. Then I let go of the spacebar, and the mute comes back on. So this can help if you're in a situation where you accidentally forgot to mute again and you're doing something in the background. This is a little bit safer. Now you can just keep yourself muted and do control space, and let go of the spacebar, and you're muted again. The fourth new feature is background blur in the web. So I'm here in the web browser in Teams, go to the three dot menu and choose show background effects. And now I can do blur and then hit apply. And there we are. The fifth new feature is a small but useful one and that's improved OneNote integration in Teams. So I have a page here in OneNote. I'm gonna right click on it and choose copy link to this page. And this works for both pages and sections in OneNote. Now I'm in a chat in Teams and now I'm gonna to reply to the chat and paste the link. And now just paste the link. Notice how it adds the link, but also this thing that we call a chiclet. So the OneNote chiclet is here and I can also edit the access right here. So now I can click this. And if I need to change the access settings for permissions for this OneNote page or section, I can do that right here. I'll just click cancel. So that's a nice idea and I can send this message. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest videos I'll be releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell to keep notified for all the latest posts.